Hello all and welcome, and I am the Rectile Philosopher, and in this video I would like to talk about dead bedrooms. <laughs> Apparently, there is a Reddit group called Dead Bedrooms in which haggard old broads who are big, fat, homely, out of shape land whales go to complain about their men not wanting them anymore, hence the term dead bedrooms. And I came across this particular article and I wanted to review it for you guys because I think it's hilarious. Not only do I think the comment is hilarious, but I think the comments uh, that are replying to it are equally hilarious. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? I cannot and will not compete with porn and his hand. Ha 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 Hilarious! So she, a woman with a functioning vagina and anus and mouth and real body, can't compete with porn. Huh. You gotta wonder what's wrong with this broad, huh? I know he watches porn daily. Do you now? Well, first of all, how do you know? I mean, don't you have a life? Don't you have a job? Aren't you doing something? Of course, the answer to that is no. No real hobbies of her own. Her whole, whole life is him. This is, see, this is why women always want to hang around the guy. This is always why if you're doing something that's all about you, watching sports or something else that is male-oriented, she's going to be running the vacuum cleaner, walking back and forth in front of you, pushing that vacuum cleaner, cleaning the house in some way to get your attention, to disrupt you from doing what you enjoy, because it's always got to be about her. Okay? She always has to be involved with whatever you're doing if she's there. If she's there, she has to be involved, okay? Several times daily if possible. So you're monitoring him. So you're in prison, guys. Okay? This is something I said before. When you get married, you are in prison, and she is the prison guard. She's monitoring everything you do, everything you watch, everything you eat, everything you read, and she is okaying it. Or not okaying it. And if she's not okay with it, you're going to hear about it often. He lies and says he doesn't watch it. But I've found evidence that he does. Evidence. <laughs> well, that's the talk of a cop who is looking for incriminating information to put you in jail. But you're already in jail. So this is the, uh, uh, this is the, uh, the CO. He's tossing your cell. Looking for... Uh, contraband okay she's she's the ceo she's looking for contraband in your cell which is your home your prison and she's gonna use it against you does that sound like fun guys so the ceo is looking for evidence that you are in possession of contraband oh yeah she's looking for evidence to use against because he's done something wrong he's done something evil yes he's watching porn Ooh, that evil man we don't really ever have sex anymore huh I wonder why. I get a broad who's essentially acting like a prison warden, like a prison guard, monitoring every little thing I do, nagging me about every little thing I do, how it's wrong, constantly monitoring me, constantly treating me like a child, constantly interfering, interrupting, getting in the way whenever I'm trying to do something for myself. Yeah, jeez, you sound like a broad I would really want to have sex with. Mm hmm. Not to mention that she's a married broad, so we all know what that means. Big, fat, and ugly. She goes on to say, but now I'm becoming comfortable with that since my libido has dropped since starting medicine for depression. Well, okay. What do you care? Well, you're comfortable with it now. So what's the big deal, right? Oh, that's right. You might be comfortable with it physically because your libido has dropped off because you're all depressed. You're a depressed land whale. But without the vagina, you don't have the... That's right. Pussy power. But also, here's the thing. I'm no longer attracted to a man who'd rather watch porn than be intimate with his woman. <laughs> Contradict herself. So now, she doesn't want to have sex anymore either. But that's not the point. He has to want it from her so she can deny it to him. And thereby have power over him. Otherwise, she has no leash that she can yank. <laughs> but also, here's the thing. I'm no longer attracted to a man Who'd rather watch porn than be intimate with his woman? Translating to, I no longer have power to deny something to him to make him do what I want so I don't feel in control, so now I don't feel secure anymore. I need to get out. I need to find a man <laughs> who will make me feel in control and in charge, who beg for it, and then I can just deny it to him so he'll basically 
beg for what he wants and I'll not give it to him and then he'll do whatever I want him to do and I'll feel in control and I'll feel powerful and I'll feel in charge. Right, so get a divorce, take your fat ass to the gym, get in shape, and lure in some other sucker. I see. I'm no longer attracted to a man who I live with, barely giving me the time of day. <laughs> That's marriage, you dumb broad. Yeah, he's got to pay attention to you. He's at home. He can't just do his own thing. He's got to put 24-7 into you. Yeah, you're because you're the center of the universe, right? The man who never calls me beautiful. She's such a narcissist. You have to call me beautiful and gorgeous. His best friend and life partner. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone there, honey. I mean, there have been studies done on this that the moment you start thinking as your mate, as your best friend, you've become way too needy and attached, and that's the wrong way to look at them. Never see your mate as your best friend. You cannot be best friends with your wife. They're your wife. Okay? Good Lord. So she's too needy, too controlling, and essentially she's pissed off that she no longer has that apple, that carrot to dangle in front of the donkey's nose. I see. Let's continue. Who turns his back to me when we are lying down together? <laughs> I didn't call you beautiful and gorgeous anymore because you're not beautiful and gorgeous anymore. Did you ever stop to think, honey, that maybe you turned to porn because you let yourself get out of shape? Did you stop to think that? Or she's just moaning and complaining about him doing it. And of course, as a man, we today in this society have to see the inner beauty of a woman. We can't objectify them. Meanwhile, you marry us for our money. And if we don't make enough of it, you leave us. So it's perfectly okay for you to objectify us for our money, but we have to stop, lower our standards, drop any standards we have in regards to what we value as men and accept you for who you are. And if we don't, we are shallow scum. And she doesn't even need to bring up any of this stuff because it's not allowed. It's not right for men to judge you on your looks to begin with. Of course, this is all that feminism has wanted to do. Feminism wants to make sure that men don't value women for the things that men value women for. That way, the big, fat, disgusting, ugly land whales then think they have a chance of getting a man. And some of them do. Uh, but of course, they get the guy that pumps gas, usually, which is why they're so bitter and angry. And that's why they end up getting divorced. Who has rarely tried to initiate any kind of intimacy? Well, honey, just from reading this, you are a bitch. You are a bitch. What man is going to want to intimate I I intimacy with you? The man who doesn't act interested in me anymore. Well, why do you think he doesn't act interested in you anymore, huh? They, you see, this is the thing. Women don't stop to look at themselves. The problem is never her. It's always him. Yeah, the porn is the problem. It's not a symptom of a deeper problem. Oh, no, it's the cause. It has to be the cause. I have to blame the porn because I can't handle the reality that it's because I'm a big, fat, 12-sandwich-eating slob. Goes on to say, who'd rather do what he wants? Ah! I called it! That's what women do. You can't do what you want. You have to do what she wants. If you do what you want, you at least have to acknowledge her in some way. And if you don't, she's going to run that vacuum cleaner, clean that house, do everything to get your attention. You are not yourself. You are not a sovereign entity anymore. Once you marry her, you are a part of her. Pay attention, guys. Do not get married. Who'd rather do what he wants than spend time with me? That matters. Now notice what she said there. It's very telling. Spend time with her. That's what matters. Spending time with himself and doing what's good for him is not important. The man can't be bothered to help me around the house. Ah! <laughs> the, the man can't be bothered to help me around the house. <laughs> so, I mean, is this really about porn? Or is this about her selfishness? She doesn't want to do anything. Yeah, he goes out to work. He works all day, and then he comes home. But, you know, my bonbons and my watch and Oprah all day, well, they really tire me out. He should be doing something around the house as well because, you know, I'm a feminist, and I believe that the woman's job is much more important than the man. And, of course, a woman, if you added up everything she does all day, she be, should be making a salary of $150,000, didn't you know? I heard that somewhere, and, yeah, it's true, too. Yeah, so my time's more important than his, so my day is much more difficult than his day. So when he comes home, yeah, he should help me out around the house. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Why don't you get up off your fat ass and go help him at work, honey? Huh? Why don't you return the favor, huh? Huh? Oh, no, you're not going to do that, are you? Goes on to say, I'm just so tired of being the only one who actually tries. Are you trying? 
Are you really? When was the last time you rolled over in bed, crawled across, yanked his shorts down, and gave him a blowjob without trying to initiate anything? You just took the initiative. When was the last time you got your fat ass on a motherfucking treadmill and ran yourself 10 miles, honey, to lose that fat ass? Oh, never, ever, not ever? Ah, but you're trying. Doing nothing, apparently, equals trying these days. I see. And what's sad, my friends show more interest in fucking me than my boyfriend. And my boyfriend doesn't show me any interest. Wait, 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 what? Holy shit, so they're not even married? I, did, 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 I started reading this, and, and I figured, well, they gotta be married. So look at it. So, so this, they're not even married. And this broad is already up his ass. Can you imagine how much worse she would be if they got married? And by the way, this is obviously why they're not married. <laughs> Your friends show more interest in fucking you. Yeah, well, they don't have to go home with you. If they had to go home with you and live with you, I guarantee you they wouldn't have much interest in banging you either. And by the way, what are you doing with male friends? Huh? What are you doing with male friends in the first place? Okay, hey, you see there's a lot more going on here than she admits. This is a woman who's got a lot of male friends. She keeps around as, uh, you know, plan B. She's got a lot of plan B guys. Yeah, there's a lot more going on here than she's telling us. I don't respond back to their advances, obviously. Just pisses me off that he has pretty much said that he'd rather watch porn than be in it with me. Well, honey, you know what? If you lost that big fat ass, which I'm sure you have, and then you got all these desperate little manginas running around who you think want to bang you. Maybe that's just in your own delusional head, but even if that's the case, <laughs> that's not so hard to find. There's a lot of guys out there who bang almost anything. Means nothing. You found a guy that'll tolerate you and actually live with you. You should be happy, but of course you're not. I foresee a ugly, alone, cat lady of the future right here. And let's see, the, 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 the replies, though, are even more telling than this post. So we have one reply from someone named Cork Puck, considering one of the reasons my marriage ended was because of porn. <laughs> Talk about insecure women. She added a marriage over porn. Yeah, right. Women are always looking for a reason or a pretext, okay? They don't want to look like horrible people. They want to be able to brand you as the evil, bad guy, horrible person because they care so much about what other people think of them. They're such narcissists, how they're viewed in the world. Oh, that's so important, yeah. So they're not going to leave you until you give them some kind of reason. Of course, it's a pathetic reason, porn. If you were doing your job as a woman, you wouldn't need porn. Women are so pathetic in bed these days. They don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't try. It's like a, they're like a refrigerator. They just lay there, and then they wonder why we need porn. Come on, really? Oh, my God. Right, porn on her exercise. I, I didn't feel the need to try and compete with it anymore. Waste of time and energy. And then heart crumbs here. I respect your strength. I'm possibly going through this myself. It sounds so familiar, but I'm still trying to compete somehow. Yeah. Well, try a little harder, honey. Naively hopeful, however, because I'm suffering from too much cognitive dissonance to realize that my big fat cottage cheese ass just doesn't get him up and that he finds more pleasure watching women on TV than he does my real big fat ass. <laughs> and we have Court Puck again. If he doesn't want to change his ways, he won't. It was so very hard to grasp the concept and to finally say enough is enough. Ha, yeah, you've been so victimized. The guy was watching women on TV. Oh, my God. Especially after all the abuse he was doing. Yeah, he was fapping to broads on TV. Yeah, so horrible. The thing with this kind of situation that people don't realize is that it is a form of abuse. Yeah. What? Abuse? What the hell? Oh, so it's abuse. Does watch porn? He's abusing you somehow? I think that's the problem with people today. They're all such a bunch of pussies. Even the women ain't women anymore. They become even more childlike than they used to be, which was pretty childlike. Now they're on the level of about, about a five-year-old. You just blow on them, that's abuse. Like a dandelion. You're blowing a dandelion. All them dandelions fly away. The dandelion is destroyed. <laughs> yeah, the women are so weak. Watching porn is abuse. Oh, my God. Yeah, this porn habits start affecting their mind. Oh, yes, porn is a degradating effect on the male psyche, don't you know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ah, this is too funny. We got another one here. Enough is enough. Every day you stay is another lost deposit into the relationship. See, this is how women see things. It's all some kind of currency transaction. Don't fall for the sunk 
cost fallacy. <laughs> yeah, you're so valuable, honey, that, that you're putting so much currency into this relationship as he's putting actual currency in. Yeah, cash out now, uh-huh. Thanks so much. And same to you, your words ring more than true. I'm glad you made this post. Keep, you keep keeping up. You'll get the right man you deserve. Yeah, you deserve a man that appreciates you for your big, giant, fat ass. Uh-huh. Uh, no man ever, <laughs> unless he's a chubby chaser, appreciated that. Of course, well, but of course we men have to change what we want in regards to all women. Yeah, because it's wrong to want attractive women. And we have another enabler here from Take It or Leave It. This is ridiculous and also a tad infuriating. I can't believe he doesn't appreciate what he has. <laughs> what are you talking about? Did you ever stop to think that he does appreciate it? He's appreciating it as much as it deserves to be treated. I mean, let's be honest. If your dog dumps on the floor, how much are you going to appreciate that pile of crap? Huh? You kind of give it the appreciation that it deserves and has earned. So did you ever stop to think that she's getting the appreciation she deserves. Oh, no, she's a woman with a vagina. That can't be possible. She's so valuable. And here we have Court Puck again, the person who posted this. Plot twist to that. He says he wants to marry me. Broad, lady, he doesn't want to marry you. He's just telling you what you want to hear to, to kind of keep you around. He's gotten into kind of a comfortable rut. You know, he's comfortable. Yeah, men are like this. You see, men, they get into a, a routine and they're comfortable. Women are never comfortable. They always have to be causing some kind of chaos. But he's comfortable. He's just telling you what you want to hear so you'll stay around. But he's not going to marry you. If he was going to marry you, he would have already married you, okay? Yeah, dummy. And here's another interesting comment from somebody called Dark Marcy. Yeah, somebody, something's definitely dark inside her head. A light one out, okay? The, I've come to realize that porn is akin to cheating. <laughs> really? Where's the other woman? She's in a little magic box. She doesn't actually exist. How's it cheating? Oh, but it's easier. It's socially acceptable. Yeah, why is it so? Why is it acceptable? Do you think? Because it's not cheating. It's readily available and it's infinitely various. If I watch Born Alone, I'm cheating on my partner. What? What kind of sophistry is this? What, what kind of nonsense? How are you cheating? The definition of cheating is that it's with another person and there's no other person there. Oh my God. If we watch it together. It can have value. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. Essentially, with a woman, everything is somehow cheating on her, being disloyal to her. He's watching football. He's ignoring me entirely. He's not paying me any attention. I tried to cuddle with him, and he pushed me away. Leave me alone. Watch the game. <laughs> They're such children. I stopped watching Born because I know that every time I do it, I'm one step further from my partner. No, you're one step further because you're not taking any steps on that treadmill. And here's Court Puck again, deluding herself. We aren't married, and his deeper issue isn't with me. I go out of my way for him and always have. In her mind, she does. Uh, in between the nagging, of course. And <laughs> the being a bitch. I do everything he asks of me. I doubt that. I show him that I... Uh, uh, did you lose weight? I bet he asked you to do that, didn't he? Uh, you didn't do that, of course. Because you're supposed to be able to be big and fat and disgusting. And that's okay, because he shouldn't care about that. I show him... What I want him, I show him what I want him every day. I, you show him that you want him. Uh, how? Oh, you show him you want him? Who cares? I don't care if a big fat hippopotamus wants me. Are you kidding me? I have that happen all the time. Big fat women giving me the eye. Get the fuck out of here, you pig. Nobody's interested in you. You show me you're interested. Who cares? He won't talk to me really ever when I try to make conversation. Yeah, he's, he's kind of like in a, he's in a comfortable zone. He don't want to talk to you. That's right. You know, you're just there to, to, to fill up space, obviously fill up a lot of space, and do your little chores and shit. Meanwhile, he goes to work all day probably, you know, do jack shit. She goes on to say, I haven't really changed. I had a bad bout of depression after my adopted mom died earlier this year. You had? Didn't she just say that she's taking antidepressants? <laughs> Which in many cases cause weight gain. <laughs> she's a real catch. She's a, she's a real catch. Constantly depressed. Fat, out of shape, blubbering, always complaining. <laughs> yeah, woo, boy. Uh, that sounds real attractive to me. Uh, look at this. We've got a, uh, uh, look at this. We've got a hoverer here. This guy's hovering around. Uh, Monk Legend Mike. I'm interested in being your friend. 
<laughs> it's hard to say if this guy's trolling or if he's some pathetic loser who's actually hoping to pick up some scraps. I'm going to guess pathetic loser. But anyway, I thought you would all find that amusing. It's always interesting to see how women suffer from so much cognitive dissonance. Not, well, I mean, not that they have very much logic and reason to begin with. Uh, but especially when it comes to themselves, they suffer from the most cognitive dif- dissonance. And whenever there's a problem in the relationship, they never look at themselves. It's always the man's fault. And of course, uh, that's uh, one of the main reasons so many uh, uh, marriages end in divorce these days. But of course, it's been designed to be that way. But don't kid yourself. Women have always been like this. It's just the current feminism, the current theme of th- Feminism throughout our society that has allowed women to embrace their horrible natures to the point where we can't stand being around them. And even this guy can't stand being around her. Of course, you can see why. This is what feminism does to women, men. Okay? You want to be with one of these full time? Yeah. More power to you. Good luck if you think you found a unicorn here. So let me know what you think of the comments. Please like, subscribe, and leave me a small donation on my Patreon if you would. Because you know, of course, that YouTube is going to demonetize this video. So I am the MGTOW Philosopher, and I wish you a good day. Take care.